Hello friends, this video on lines and angles part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more numerical here. See, it says that PQ is parallel to ST. PQ is parallel to ST. And PQR is 110 degree. RST is 130 degree. We have to find angle QRS. QRS. This is what we have to find. How can we find this? We can draw a parallel line like this, which is again parallel to PQ and ST because PQ and ST are parallel. And let me give this name as PQRS ST UV. Right? So UV is parallel to PQ is parallel to ST. This is draw. So once you draw this, you can actually easily find this angle. You can find this angle. And if you have these two angles, you can easily find this angle because total is 180 degree. So let's do this. This is 110, this has to be 70 degree. Because some of these angle is 180 degree. This is 130, this has to be 50 degree. Because some of these angle has to be 180 degree, co interior angle. This is 70, this is 150, this is 70, this is 50, this total is 120. This angle has to be 60 degree because some of these three angles has to be 180 degree. So with this you know that the value of QRS is 60 degree. This is rough calculation. Now we can do proper math. We can write in this uh, way. Let's write this. Draw line UV parallel to PQ parallel to ST. Okay. Then you can say that angle URQ URQ plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degree. It is co-interior angle. Okay, so with this angle URQ plus PRQ is 110 degree is equal to 180 degree or angle URQ is equal to 70 degree equation 1. Similarly, here angle TSR TSR plus angle V sorry SRV is equal to 180 degree. Again, co interior angle. So, angle TSR plus angle, sorry, TSR is 130 given, plus angle SRV, 180 degree. Or with this, you can say that angle SRV is equal to 180 degree minus 130 degree is equal to 50 degree. Equation number 2. Now, if you see, if you add these three angles in this line, you get angle URV. So, I can write this as angle URQ, this angle, plus angle QRS, the angle which I have to find, plus angle SRV is equal to angle URV. And that is a straight line, so it's 180 degree, straight line. So now we'll put the value URQ is 70 degree plus angle QRS which I have to find the value plus SRV is 50 degree is equal to 180 degree and you solve this angle QRS comes out to be 60 degree value. So this is what you have to write but before I do you can actually solve this in rough. Okay. Let's take one more example AB is parallel to CD APQ is 50 degree, P, R, D is 127 degree, we need to find X and Y. These lines are parallel, this is 50, this has to be 50, X, pretty easy. This is 127, so this has to be 53, pretty easy because this has to be 180 degree, linear pair. This is 53, this is 50, so we can use the angle sum property, so we'll say that this has to be 77 degree because some of these angles will be 180 degree. So we have found the value of x and y. Okay. Now let's write in proper English. Okay. So we can say that angle, let's find value of angle x. Angle A P Q is equal to angle P Q R. And you can say that alternate angle. Okay. So with this angle A P Q is what? 50 degree is equal to x. So we have found the value of x. Okay. 
Next is this one. Let's find this angle. So angle Q R P, this angle, plus angle P R D, 180 degree. Why think it's linear pair? So angle Q R P is nothing but 180 degree minus angle P R D that is 127 degree. And that is nothing but 53 degree angle number 2, equation number 2. So now in triangle PQR, in this triangle, some of the angles are 180 degrees. So let's put the value angle X plus angle Y plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degree triangle sum property. Or x is what 50 degree plus y is what sorry this is y we don't know prq 53 degree right prq or qrp both are same is equal to 180 degree and with this angle y you solve it comes out to be 77 degree that is what you have to write in the examination okay let's see one more example pq and rs are two parallel mirrors placed to each other the incident ray this is the incident ray this physics uh, question you should know a little bit of physics for this incident ray ab strikes the mirror pq at point b reflected and moves along the path bc and strike the mirror at point c and again reflected back along this we have to prove that AB is parallel to CD. AB is parallel to CD, we don't know. So it is given that PQ is parallel to RS. So we have to prove that AB is parallel to CD. So what we know? So we know that if you draw these angles here, this is angle 1, this is angle 2, this is 3 and this is angle 4. So we know that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Why? Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. That is the concept of physics. Okay? This is something we know. Now to prove that AB is parallel to CD, AB is parallel to CD, if we can prove that angle 1 plus 2 is equal to angle 3 plus 4, We are done. Correct? Okay. So let's try to prove that. And you know angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. So if we can just prove that if angle 1 is equal to angle 3 or something, we are good. We can do that. Okay. Now let's see this. Now this, this line which I have drawn, let's suppose this is L and this is M. BL will be perpendicular to PQ and MC will be perpendicular to RS. Okay. Now these two lines are perpendicular. Okay. And they are parallel. So I can say that BL is parallel to MC. See this angle is 90, this angle is 90. And this, this, these two lines are parallel. See, these two lines are parallel. I can say that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. And they will be alternate angle for these lines. You see. Angles where BL is parallel to MC. Please note, BL is parallel to MC. They are both perpendicular. Okay. And these, since PQ is parallel to RS, they are perpendicular. So these two lines are parallel. So angle one is equal to angle two is equal to angle three. That is proved. Okay. Since angle two is equal to angle three, we gave uh, proof, and uh, we have to prove that one plus. Let's see that. Let's go in this way to prove angle one plus angle two is equal to angle three plus angle four. Okay. So what is the value of angle one? Angle one is equal to angle two. So I'll say angle two plus angle 2, angle 3, angle 4 is what, angle 4 is angle, so angle 3, 
So if I prove angle 2 is equal to angle 3, I'm done. And, and that is something I've already proved. Right? So we have already proved that angle 2 is equal to angle 3. Since that is proved, we can say that the line BA is parallel to CD. This is rough now. Right? If you want to write in the exam, so what you can say that you can write this first. You don't don't write this. Okay. So angle two is equal to angle three. You can say that, and then you can say that twice of angle two is equal to twice of angle three, and then you can say that angle this is nothing but angle two plus angle two is equal to angle three plus angle three, and then you can say that angle two plus instead of two I can say angle one, and instead of three I can say angle. Four. Right? I have swapped this because this is given. Since angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4. Now angle 2 plus 1 is equal to angle 3 plus 4, angle 2 plus 1 is equal to angle 3 plus plus, or you can see that angle A B C is equal to angle B C D. Since that is there, they are alternate angles, and why? By Converse theorem of alternate angle AB is parallel to CD. Okay. First think, understand, write in rough. Once you are convinced, then you can write in plain English. Don't just go by the plain English definition, it's difficult to understand. Right? Use any conventions 1, 2, 3, 4, x, y. Understand clear concepts. And once you are convinced you have done it correctly, just write in plain English. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.